Good afternoon, everyone. David Dubine here from Mini Ice Age Conversations Podcast and Adapt2030.tv, ad-free content on Roku, earthquakes, infographic, one of the best I've ever seen, size, and number of earthquakes, uptick, Geminid meteor shower, and solar eclipse happening over the next couple of days. Eclipse is going to take a path right over southern South America. And the first ever, futures contracts for water, Uh uh-oh. The Great Reset, water's going to suddenly become scarce. You're going to have to buy it. Or perhaps they're going to ration it if your social credit score is too low. On November 6th, China launched the world's first 6G satellite. However, new technology is also bringing new problems to privacy concerned consumers. Data tracking and privacy breaches are a bigger problem than ever. I do whatever I can to make sure my information stays private online. That means always using a VPN. You can head over to virtualshield.com and in the download tab, I'm going to choose Firefox and click install now to add the Virtual Shield add on. It's just that easy. And get started with your free 30 day trial. Install it, click connect. You'll see the shield turn from red to green. And you'll see how, from my initial service provider, I was able to even change my IP Virtual Shield network protected. Try Virtual Shield for yourself for 30 days free and experience true online protection. You also can get 50% off for life if you try Virtual Shield during their limited holiday season special. So what do you have to lose? The link's in the description box below. And now on with the video. Incredible energies as we shift ages here, and I literally mean shifting ages, shifting signs from earth to air, and in the first minute of the first degree of Aquarius, the age of Aquarius dawning in just a few days. You have to wonder if there's any sacred spots right here on this, what would look like massively carved facade after a million years of erosion. You can almost see the energy coming out of that, sitting by itself, something very special there. Colombia, staying in South America, the full solar eclipse will transit through the southern part of South America. If you're in the areas here, Argentina, Chile, you're going to see full coverage here, 14th of December. Now, what's so interesting about this, at the same time, this full solar eclipse is happening, the Geminid meteor shower It's going to be taking place at the same time. They're looking for around 60 instances per minute to come in. And here, yesterday evening on the 12th, great shot. Not only the meteor streaking through, but the sprites. Electrical connections with the feet coming down. Much more intense, showing an electrification uptick in our atmosphere. Now with this is going to come more tectonic activity. And this infographic here, I'll link below in the description box beyond impressive coloration's great and the amount of information this infographic i'm just going to peel a few pieces out you can wander through it and get your own what you feel are the important points out of this or something for everybody in the infographic now, this rolls from 1898 and it is using usgs data now what i was not certain of if it was the usgs original readings from the magnitude of the quakes or if it was the downgraded final magnitude for the quakes. Go back and look historically, the USGS, at least in the last 20 years, and definitely in the last 10 years, every time there's a quake, it's downgraded. Now, I don't know if they're doing this on purpose to try to show there's not a trend of uptick and intensity in like the six range or the seven range, or even an enormous amount of magnitude four quakes or fives. That would show a huge uptick as well. So I try to pull some information out here with the destructive power And it's not really this year and then last year and the year before was more destructive and more destructive. It's just showing you in terms of the trend of the uptick. 2004, that was the Banda Aceh earthquake in Indonesia the day after Christmas with a tsunami. 2010 in Japan. 2008 in China. But a lot of these are centered right over these last 15 years or so. 2005, 2008, 2004, 2010. And the others are spackled all the way back through the last hundred years, but there definitely seems to be a clumping of intensity. Now, bringing out the earthquake measurement of all quakes, if you will, it shows you this pattern here, which for me, 
I know the data got incredibly detailed and granular after, say, 1972 and 73, but it still shows an uptick in 75. Now, this will be all quakes here compiled. It's almost like a heartbeat, isn't it? If you ever look at sound waves and heartbeats, so we should be due for a massive spike and then a drop off again. And from Earth to water, the first minute of the first degree through Aquarius for the next 2,120 years begins on the 21st of this year. Let's talk about water. Suddenly, natural resource, water, life-sustaining could become scarce across more of the world. Imagine that. They're already telling you it's going to become more scarce. So there's two options. Either it's going to become much more expensive and companies are going to control it more. Or they're going to link it into something like they're trying to do right now with social credit score. And you'll either get cleaner water or better water. Just like they do in China. You get cleaner water, cleaner food, better food, better transportation if you're a good high scoring social credit compliant individual. If you're not, the score matches the quality of intake in the body. It's become a commodity on Wall Street now, and it's the first time ever where you can bet on water. And think about this. California is the biggest U.S. agricultural market output-wise. So if you start trading with hedge funds, and we always see the manipulation of these futures, although these are cash settled, there's going to be another branch coming off the NASDAQ that's going to be able to allow you to take physical delivery, buying the actual water rights to operate your businesses, factories, whatever, in California, coming off the Colorado River and different watersheds. It's a huge gamut. It's pretty much going to cover the entire western United States as a test plot to begin with, focused in on California, mainly farmers, hedge funds, and municipalities. But you know it's going to roll over right into the trading, taking advantage of it up and down, manipulating trades. Is anything real anymore in the markets? So the measurements are going to be pushing here, and there's different contracts depending on how many acre feet. So for us... In the United States, we use acres, not hectares. So an acre, 42,000 plus square feet. And if that is one foot deep of water, that much water is an acre foot. So when you start to get into these number of thousands of gallons on top of each contract, then you can see how much could be allocated for, again, factories, municipalities to use. And then it gets into the millions of gallons and hundreds of millions of gallons Brought to you by the same people that have been consistently faking the markets through the agricultural end of things to try to stabilize markets, bankrupt farmers. And now this new first ever water futures contract. Oh, it's going to be fair. Guaranteed. The people who wrote it said it would be. Chicago Mercantile Exchange, NASDAQ, and the Earth. Who do you think is going to win? So as we come in through the last part of our year here, oh, good food, good company, good friends. Afternoon snacks leading into the sunset on the solstice, December 21st, 2020, and the amount of energies that are going to shift and the stack up of times overlapping right now. It's an incredible time we're moving into. Embrace the changes and be so thankful that you're alive to witness all this right now. Thank you, great creator. So think about the back of a Swiss watch. After you take that off, you got all those little dials in there, different varying sizes for seconds, minutes. Right now, there's an overlapping of a 2,120-year cycle changing into Aquarius. You know, when you're going around the full procession of the equinoxes, we're actually entering into Aquarius. And then on top of that, moving from the Earth sign into the Air sign, which is also 800-year cycle. We're into the grand solar minimum, which is the minimum of a 400-year cycle. The Jupiter-Saturn conjunction is a 20-year cycle. And then we're on the most sacred of days when all of this is occurring, the solstice. The Earth to the air and moving from Pisces into Aquarius all occurs on this single day. Maybe it makes sense why there's a reset going on because the new energies, the literal vibration of existence around us is shifting this is what the ancients knew. This is what was left for us as signs and stele and rock carvings and petroglyphs. Art on rock. Signs in the skies. The feet from the sprites in that black and white photo earlier. That's an electrical amplification in the skies. So many things are happening right now. Are you ready for the changes? 
But unless it's an instant shift and a rift into a new earth, we're still going to need to eat every day. And some things might spin out of control for a little while. So how prepared are you for emergencies? My Patriot Supply and Adapt 2030. Give yourself a peace of mind. Know you have stored foods in your homes. Mylar pack that will last 25 years. It's a great way to support the channel. I do thank you for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. I'll see you next time.